Okay, so I always like to end my interviews with like general random questions. Um, this is the fun part. This is the fun part. Well, this is this question is not as fun, but anyway, what's what's <laughs> <laughs> what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Um, the best piece of advice I've ever received was from my mentor named Joy Chen. Mm -hmm. She told me, your name means everything in this business. Hmm. So every small thing you do, just know it can shape who you become and it can shape people's perceptions of you. Um, so I try to always think about that. So, you know, by me being a television executive who manages a lot of people, I always think about, okay, I gotta make sure that this is done correctly because my name is everything. Yeah. And that's why I'm so passionate about my shows. Like when people praise me on, you know, Atlanta Housewives, Love mm -hmm. and Hip Hop Atlanta, all these shows I've done, it's because I take so much passion into the project because my name is on it. Right, yeah. And when your name is on something, it's important that you see it through. So that's the best advice. And I think about that every day. Okay. Um, I don't know if you heard, you probably did hear about this. Peter Thomas is doing a... Unscripted reality show? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about that? I think it's fun. I think it's something that, listen, reality TV is taking over the world. It is what it is. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. Else, anywhere. So Peter Thomas is a smart businessman. He's going to capitalize on the success of reality TV. So I, I think it's going to be fun. I think some reality stars should be rewarded for their amazing... Um, for the amazing content they bring to television. Okay. So I think it's great. Okay. Um, when is the last time you cried? The last time I cried was last Saturday. You gonna share? Well, it had to do with my sibling, my brother, um, who's going through something. So I spoke to him and he's okay. Okay, it's good, not, yeah. Yeah, it's not like threatening, like okay. he didn't die. Okay, okay. But no, he's going through something personal and I, I love my family, so we spoke on the phone and he was like, what is wrong with you? Are you crying? And I was like, I know. <laughs> so, but no, he's fine. God is good. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. Um, how old were you the first time you had your heart broken? These are good, Jasmine. Well, I, I, I hope provoking. so. <laughs> the first time I got my heart broken um, was... 2006. Okay. Um, yeah. We can leave it there. Okay. Okay. Unless you don't want to, because you know, I, I like the pool, but I don't, I, I like to be. Well, let's just say this everything is good now because, you know, okay. you got to teach people how to treat you. Okay. That's a, that's a nice quote, though. Absolutely. <laughs> um, you worked with Oprah. Mm -hmm. uh, one lesson, biggest lesson that you learned from working with her or working for her or whatever. The biggest lesson that I learned by working with Oprah Winfrey was you should never shy away from your success. Oprah Winfrey knows she's Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey does not apologize for being Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey worked hard to be Oprah Winfrey. And she taught me three years ago by watching her that it's okay to own who you are. I think, unfortunately, a lot of people like to shy away from their success. I don't want people to think I'm cocky. Yeah. I have an I'm like ego. That. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like that. Not anymore because I don't care. So she taught me that. Own it. It's one thing to me if you were an heir or an heiress to your parents' fortune and you were given this opportunity. Right. But it's, it's a different um, mindset when you work hard for it. Yeah. And you want people to respect you. So every once in a while... You have to remind people, honey, I am Oprah Winfrey. And I remind people, I am Carlos King. Yeah. Google me, check my credits. Yeah. Don't come for me. Unless I send for you. Unless I send for you, King Moore. <laughs> but no, she taught me that. And I will, I will never forget, she told somebody, whose show is this? Oh. And they said, the Oprah Winfrey show. And she was like, hey, don't you ever forget it. <laughs> and I was like, yes! But the thing is, we... <laughs> But we would never see that, though. Yeah, but she, no, Oprah, what she do? Well, I'm not, she seems very, she, oh, no, 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 she no, seems very humble. When I did, but, uh, but my point is, you can still be humble. Like, but still this is so know. funny, because a lot of people tell me, like, Carlos, you're not humble. And I'm like, I am extremely humble, meaning I know that I'm blessed because of God. And right. I'm blessed because I work hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm Carlos King because I wake up every day and I, you know, my stuff doesn't stink. Mm -hmm. I know that 
I work hard to be where I'm at. And I know that all of this can be taken away tomorrow yeah. if I don't continue treating people correctly and, and, and treating people with respect and owning up to my mistakes. So that to me is humble. There's nothing wrong with being confident in your ability to succeed. There's nothing wrong with reminding people of your success. So Oprah, like during the behind the scenes show, there were tons of moments where you were like, oh, that's Oprah? Mm -hmm. But you appreciated it. And even working with Tyler Perry, he knows he is Tyler Perry. Right. And I know that I'm Carlos King. And I may not be there yet, but I appreciate where I'm at in my career. Right. And I know that I want to go further. But there's nothing wrong with accepting your position because I'm not ashamed right. of where I'm at. I right. don't feel guilty about right. my success because I worked hard for it. Is Nene Leakes humble? Nene Leakes is humble. What people don't know about Nene Leakes uh -huh. is she's very shy and She's a woman who always wanted this. So again, she's somebody who's like, it's so funny. I'm working on her wedding show. Uh, we know. And she told, <laughs> <laughs> she told somebody, I am Nene Leakes. And I was like, yes, Lord, <laughs> yes, own it, girl. Like you have to, <laughs> <laughs> you have to, in some moments, remind people, like you're gonna say, I'm Jasmine. Like. I don't do that. Right. I'm Jasmine. Own it. It's okay. Own it. Okay. What's the uh, best compliment you've ever received? I love to receive compliments about my work. Like, I'm not superficial when it comes to my look and all this other, like, you But know. you do have some fly socks on, though. So. Thank you. <laughs> okay. But you, so no, you but I, I appreciate, you have no idea what it means to me when I I'm at a social event and mm -hmm. somebody comes up to me and they say, I love what you do. Because I don't walk around thinking people know who I am. I'm not that person. I promise you I'm not. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I know I'm Carlos King. Right. But I don't think a lot of people know that. So I'm always impressed when people come up to me. They're like, oh my God, Carlos, um, I love your work. I'm going to work with you. Can I be your intern? <laughs> and I'll be like, who? Me? <laughs> right, right. So right. I appreciate that people follow my career because there's not a lot of black people who do what I do. So I love that there's young kids who's watching me saying, I want to be a producer versus saying, I want to be on reality TV. I want to produce reality TV. Right. So that means a lot to me. Does a small part of you ever want to be on TV more? You know what's so funny? I get approached that often. A lot of people say, Nene told me this the other day. She was like, boy, you are your own reality show. Like you are crazy. Mm -hmm. You should be on reality TV. I get that all the time. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I'm not against it, but I'm too busy focusing on the work at hand. So whatever happens to me is because God wanted to work out and I just accept his calling. Um, when you're working, what's your biggest pet peeve? I hate people who make excuses. I hate that. For example? Oh, if I check you on something, uh -huh. just say, Carlos, I messed up. It's cool. I'm not a mean boss. I'm very demanding. Uh -huh. I am high strung. Yeah. I don't like people who don't own up to their mistake. Own up to it. It's no big deal. I'm not going to be upset because you owned up to it. Well, I will be upset if you're sitting and looking me dead in my eyeballs <laughs> and you're telling my eardrums a, a, an excuse. I am going to go off on you. Okay. Oh, gosh. That's so funny. Okay. What's your, your favorite shower song? <laughs> Do you sing in the shower or in the car? I do. Okay. Last night, I was taking a shower. I played Shaka Khan and Rufus' Everlasting Love. Oh, okay. Oh, um, I love old school music. Who, uh, who's your best friend? Uh, my mother is my best friend. Okay, that's your girl. That's my homie. Okay. Um, what one thing in life can you always count on? The one thing in life I can always count on is God. I can always count on him to lead me in the right direction. And no matter what I'm going through in my life, it could be an adversity or something successful. I can always count that he's putting me in this position for a reason. So every single moment of my existence, I always think God put me in this situation for a reason. I went through something horrible a few months ago and I was devastated, like beyond devastated. Mm -hmm. Like I had a, a personal check and in that whole process, I just kept telling myself, you're going through this because God wants you to, and you, this is your testimony. And one day, not today, mm -hmm. one day mm -hmm. you're going to share that to people 
and they're going to you're going to help others. So I'll share my story one day, but it was devastating for me to go through that. Okay. But I'm I'm thankful that I went through it because I'm here today. Right. Um, your favorite scripture? Oh God, there's tons. You, I can, um, you can only have a favorite one though. No, there's one that I like. I don't know the exact like Psalm 14 chapter, whatever, but <laughs> there's something about, um, God, I can't believe it's slipping my mind. It's about having the, what's the word? I hate that I'm not knowing this right now, but it's something about, what is it? That's so crazy. I could like see it on my wall. Okay. We'll come back to it. We'll back I only have that. one of the questions, so we'll have to come back to that okay. one. Um, what model do you live by? Live your best life. Okay. Oh, okay. Live That's your best it. life. Okay. Well, you only have, this is my last question. You, what is the scripture? What's so. that scripture when it's like, God grant me the serenity. Oh, there's like the serenity prayer the sort serenity of thing? prayer. Okay. Okay. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, um, but have the wisdom enough to know the difference. Something like that. No, I'm that's a good one. Yeah, that's a yeah, good one. Yeah, I love that one. And that's up a lot of places. Is there anything we didn't talk about that you want to before? Because I know I've taken up a lot of your time. Is anything no, else? I'm glad you did. Um, no, this is this has been great. Okay. Um, let's keep looking out for Kingdom Rank Entertainment and look out for Nene Leaks. I Dream of Nene the Wedding. I'm excited about that. That's great. <laughs> I've only been shooting that for three weeks and it's an amazing show. Not yeah, yeah, word, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. Okay. It's good. Well, thank you for it. It's been a pleasure. This has been fun. Thank you Bye. so much. Bye.